that Allah says in the Quran in Surah Tawbah Surah number 9, ayat number 113, Allah says that مَا كَانَ لِلنَّبِيِّ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْ يَسْتَغْفِرُوا لِلْمُشْرِكِينَ that Allah says that it is not befitting for the Prophet or for those who believe that they should ask for forgiveness for those who associate partners with God. Allah says, وَلَوْ كَانُوا أُلِي قُرْبَى Even if they are their near ones, that is their relatives, even if they were relatives, you cannot ask Allah for forgiveness. So uh, Imam Ahmad records that uh, when Abu Talib was dying, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam visited him and there was Abu Jahl also present. So Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, when Abu Talib was dying, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam uh, said to him, O oh my uncle, Qul la ilaha illallah, say la ilaha illallah. Then Abu Jahl said to Abu Talib that will you leave our religion, the religion of Abdul Muttalib. Then, then Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said that I will continue asking forgiveness from Allah for you until Allah prevents me to do so. That is Allah, until Allah forbids me, I will continue to ask. Then this verse was revealed. So for forgiveness, if somebody dies in the state of shirk, in the state of associating partners with God, then we cannot pray for their forgiveness. But in this life, when they are alive, you can very well pray for them if they are your relatives and they are not on the deen, on uh, worshipping one God. Then you can ask Allah for their guidance, for their well-being, for this dunya, you can ask very well, you can pray for them. But if uh, also if you want to ask for their forgiveness, you can say like that, may Allah uh, open their hearts towards guidance and may Allah forgive them likewise. So you can pray like that. For, but to pray, it's a it, it's good it's a good gesture to pray. And if somebody is suffering, that is like kind words. Wa ma'alina illa